I think for now, what we need to do is get up here. Because we're out of stamina. And there's a bunch of ghosts, all worshipping this statue. Hello everybody, welcome back to exactly where we left off in the last episode. We finished cooking that feral meat. Go throw that in the thrall pot. Just help to keep their food level built up. And then we're going to go off on another adventure. And unfortunately... This one's going to involve a bit of running around. Uh, we can go down these stairs for a change. I'll jump out of here. Right. Come on, get across there. There we go. Yep. Right, how are we doing for water? We don't need to refill. We've got our health back up to full. Um, let's get going. Now, there's a risk we're going to run out of food on this trip, so I'm going to raid these few shaleback nests. Collect as many eggs as possible. There's this one and there's the one on the other side of the bridge. And if we come across any others, we'll raid them as well. Now there's two locations that I'm specifically looking for, which we missed on our initial run along the river. We'll probably need to take a few sticks with us. Might as well get them while we're in safe-ish territory. Uh oh. We don't want to don't want to fight with the exiles. So let's just get out of here. I mean we could just kill them off dead easy, it's no problem. Oh, he spotted me. Uh, we'll take that stone, because we'll need it to make a campfire. And if I move them eggs up to there, have the skinning knife out ready. Might as well skin him, get his skin. It's useful for, for repairing and making armor. And that that one died, but there is an angry shale back down there. It's injured, you notice. And um, we'll take his rocks and we'll skin him as well. Now that shale back would give us some tasty meat for cooking when we make a campfire. So we might as well finish it off. As much as I hate to do that to the shellbacks, um, we are going to need the meat. And rather than having an injured shellback wandering around, someone's coming. Oh, did you have to, Missus? I really don't want to hurt you. But if you're going to keep shooting me, I will. Skin you, rather than take your meat for eating. And I noticed there was a dead imp here. We'll have that as well. Right, now I want to move that meat out of there. And we'll eat one of those steaks. Take a quick sip of water. I'll go down and refill the skin before we start our long run. There's a bunch of imps up here. We may have to deal with them all on the way through.
There's an explodey one. I'm only picking up the sticks because we're going to need them to make the campfire and to actually have something to burn to do the cooking on this meat. Oh, you had to, didn't you? Take all of that. We'll take all of that. Might as well get this imp as well. Just like never turning down the opportunity for meat, never turn down the opportunity to get a hide. Now then, I want to climb up this ledge because. The first location that we're going to, I'm not sure if it's up here or not. I know there's imps up here, I can hear them. Oh, you're... oh crap. Come on then you. Just check he's got no mates around. We're going to have to eat another piece of meat, because he vomited on us. Now, that location that I'm looking for is not on this outcrop, it must be on the next one. There's a chance there's an imp around this corner. He's down there. Just get these sticks first. And what I'm actually looking for is that on the edge of one of these outcrops facing the river there is a ghost position with a journal and we missed it on the way in. If you remember from episode 2 I said I was looking for a particular location and it felt as if we'd bypassed it already that uh, we'd missed it. So... It's a location like this, it's not there, right, might be on the next one. And we've got an explodey imp across here, we'll go and deal with him on the way past. Oh, come on. better. <gasps> and we've got three imps to deal with here. Come on, guys. Over here. Oi. Oh. Didn't mean to do it that way, but never mind. It did the job. Oi. There's the ghosts. 
We'll have a look at them in a second. So there's the journal. A stick of charcoal and a few leaves will have to serve as my diary in this godforsaken place. Perhaps my words will be of use to some unfortunate soul in the future. And this seems to be a land of lost souls. Once I escaped my bonding to the cross, I found that I was not alone in my fate. Two other poor fools had been crucified nearby. A dead Zamorian and a glaring barbarian. He looks like one of those savages that haunt the northern borders of fair Aquilonia. A Sumerian. His piercing eyes and the sullen look on his face gave me doubts, but I decided to free him anyway. This is no fate for a man. Braga, as he is called, is gruff and uncouth. He offered to travel with me in order to pay my debts. He is severely wounded. Unlike the leather bonds that bound me to the cross, Braga had been nailed there. We have spotted a bridge to the west. Bridges mean water, a resource we lack. Okay, so that's the the journal. That's added a bit more experience on our belt. I really want to trigger those ghosts again. I want to look at the animation because I can't remember it. So if I come back here, maybe wander in. Will it? There we are. Two dudes talking. Looks like the one that was sitting down. Oh no, he's standing up. Not in the best of shape. Right, okay. It's maybe an illustration of um, what was said in the journal. Now, I just need to check locations here. And in fact, I need to check the map. Um, that's where we're heading for, I believe. So we could actually cut down onto the river's edge, go along the river's edge, it'll give us a chance to gather more um, hides and meat. Let's just move that meat up there. 86 hides so far, that's food, we'll move that across there, move that down there, right, I'll put that up there. Doing okay on food collections. And we've not even found a game animal yet. So let's, yeah, we can drop down here. There we go. We're a little bit down on health, but it's nothing that we can't manage. And this is a, a shale back zone. You can see there's lots of them around. And that gives us the opportunity to steal more eggs. Not that we particularly need them, but it's always worth getting them. They're there for the taking. Uh, there's an exile camp across there. I'm not particularly wanting to get into a fight with them because I've got a specific location that I want to get to before we clear the episode. I'll take those eggs though. There's not a lot of nutrient in the eggs but it's better than nothing. That's no, definitely not that one. There's the sentinels, so we've got to get past that. There's another exile camp up there. We might clear all these exile camps on the way back. another two hides. Thank you, Bunny. Each time that we recruit an archer, um, we need 130 hides to make their armor. So, 
quite important to keep collecting these hides. Come on, that's it. Alright, how's our encumbrance? Ah, we're miles away. Now, I think, if I remember rightly, the location we're looking for is on the other side of here. Um, is it down in here? It's either down in here to the right, and the presence of an imp indicates it might well be. Or it's across there, beyond those sort of scrubby looking trees. Um, and I think it is across there, rather than down here. I do hope we can find it in this episode, because I think you'll enjoy it. There it is, yes. Um, no, we don't want to be jumping down there if we can avoid it. Jump down that one, it's not too big. And we've got a lot of imps down here to sort out. two across there that we'll get rid of first. Three, in fact. Come on, boys. Uh, before the next one sees us, have we got time to skin them? Looks like we have. It's almost unfair to be using this sword against the imps. But it's just one way to make sure we don't take any damage. There you are. Any more? There's at least one somewhere. I can hear him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, come to me. Right, now we can get the skins. And we're going to go into this cave. This is Hanuman's Grotto. There's two reasons for coming here. One is for the discovery. Two, at least three imps there. We're going to have to eat in a minute. Took more damage there than I was anticipating. Sometimes it, when you come in here, an imp spawns behind you after you've come in. Just waiting to see if he does. Right. Uh, we can put the sword away for the moment. You can see, ah, there he is. Right. 
Now, all of these glowing crystals we're going to be harvesting because we use them to make glass. But first, we want to dive down there. I want to get that glowing gloop. Not that we can do anything. Oh, God. He got stuck there. Getting low on stamina as well. Let's get him on the rock and rest. Um, right, that glow and gloop, we can't use it yet. We don't have recipes for it, but we might as well harvest it while it's available to us. And we'll use a couple of these eggs rather than the steaks. Because the steaks are better health regenerators in a fight. Oh, we want to get through there. And I've got a feeling we've... Ah, there we go. Can't see very much in here at the minute. There's more glowing gloop there. Come on. Get down to it. Finally got it. And there's more across there. And did I see more down there or did we get it? Yeah, there is more down there, but I think for now what we need to do is get up here. Because we're out of stamina. And there's a bunch of ghosts all worshipping this Statue of Hanuman. And I see a journal in his hands. So, let's have a look. O Lord of the darkness, of men who are not men, give us strength and suffering in equal measure. Let our bodies be pleasing to you, and our minds quieted from this conscious thought. Let us find the inner rages, and loose them upon the earth. We give our sacrifice into your hands. Appease your thirst in the slickness of blood. Grant us the power of your might, the eternal strength of Hanuman. Right, now, I want a screenshot there with the ghosts, so... Bear with me while I come round here and trigger them again. And if I just do that. Get our guy into the right position. And try and get a second one. When they've all got their hands in the air. That does it. And while I've got while I've got the in overlay off screen, we'll just Get in a bit closer, see if we can get them with the hands... Oh, too late, never mind. Alright, put the overlay back. And what we want to do is we want to swap one of these for the pickaxe. Our purge meter is getting up, it's at about 25% you note. And what I'm going to very quickly do is go around and harvest a bunch of this crystal. As best I can. Not all crystal is harvestable. Most of it is. Whoops, I didn't want the rock. Because we use this crystal to make glass. And then we use the glass to make glass flasks. For making dyes and potions. And generally making the alchemist feel useful.
And you need two crystals to make one piece of glass. And I can't remember if it's two pieces or one piece of glass to make a glass flask. And you do get through lots of them. So you want to be carrying a decent supply. Now, this is one of two locations nearby to the house where we can get masses of crystal. So I'm not too worried about coming out of here overladen with it. I'm just going to get about 200 or so. In fact, that's 208. Just make it an even number. That's 215. 218. See if we can get... That'll do, in fact. That, that's more than enough for what we need. Um, put that back into there. We can repair it because we're carrying stone. We'll put that back there in case we come across any decent food. I'm going to pull all of them eggs down there for now. Because we may need them. And while I head back out of the cave, that's going to be the end of the episode. Um, what I might do is just very quickly show you that you can dive down under here. Get some more glowing gloop. And then come up where we first dive down in here so that's Hanuman's Grotto and it's a location that a surprising number of people don't seem to find it's actually quite easy to find and it's not too dangerous a location few imps to deal with, but not too many. Could have done it with the stone double-handed sword, but I wanted the iron one just for efficiency. Stone two-handed sword takes three hits to take down an imp, the iron one uses two. So there we are, we're back out onto the plain, and that's what the outside of the grotto looks like. Here's where it is on the map, look. There's the sentinels, and you're at the back of this long rock face here, at the very back, and in there's the shattered bridge, there's where we've made home, sentinels, and the grotto, and you can see it's more or less straight inland from the third easternmost road in the desert. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Gazbeard. This is Conan Exiles. And we've just cleared Hanuman's Grotto. And cleared a few other minor achievements. Which is starting to push our experience points up nicely. And get our levels up. And now it's time to head home. While I say to you... Please remember to give the video a like, leave your comments and questions down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. As always from me, it's not goodbye, it's bye for now. <laughs>